Good Wednesday morning. We're talking about making vows to the Lord, making commitments to the Lord today. In Deuteronomy chapter 23 and verse 21 and following, we read this. When you make a vow to the Lord your God, you shall not delay to pay it, for it would be a sin to you. And the Lord your God will surely require it of you. However, if you refrain from vowing, it would not be a sin in you. You shall be careful to perform what goes out from your lips. Just as you have voluntarily, important word, voluntarily, vow to the Lord what you have promised. How many commitments have you ever made to the Lord? And then did you fulfill all of them? When you made a commitment to the Lord to be pure or to tithe or to uh, witness or to what, did you, when you made that commitment, did you follow up on it? Has it been a part of your life? Well, God takes seriously what we say. He takes seriously what we think. But once we say it, once it moves from our mind and our thought processes out our mouths, and we say to the Lord, if you, then I will, or God, no matter what, I'm going to uh, do these kind of things, then did you fulfill them? Well, sadly, in all of our lives, we made commitments and vows to the Lord that perhaps we didn't uh, fulfill, or we forgot about, or whatever. I've had people to tell me in a great moment of distress, uh, you know, if God gets me out of this, I will whatever else. And they were just telling me what they had vowed to the Lord. But sadly, oftentimes they didn't fulfill that uh, vow. And their lives really didn't get any better. But what this passage says is that we don't have to vow anything to the Lord. But once we do, then God takes that very seriously. And why would that be? Because he takes what he says to us very seriously. He never breaks his word. He never breaks a promise. He never breaks a commitment to you and to me. So let's think about what we might uh, commit to the Lord today. The Bible says if we commit our way to the Lord, then he'll establish our steps. So you could commit your way to the Lord. And as he established your steps, you would walk in his leading and in his will. That's a very important consideration. But don't uh, just kind of flippantly vow something to the Lord under the pressure or in the pressures of life. Whatever you have committed to the Lord, make sure you fulfill those commitments because God takes those very seriously. I think it's great to make vows to the Lord. I think it's great to make commitments to the Lord because not only does it please God, but it really builds our lives and allows the Lord to work in the midst of what we have vowed to make sure those vows come true or come true to their fullest meaning. Be careful what you say in promises to the Lord. Be careful to fulfill them. Heavenly Father, thank you for reminding us of our vows. And may we keep our word, even as you always keep yours. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.